52-year-old Ruben has neck, back, ankle, and knee pain. He takes tons of medication, was in a motorcycle accident, rear-ended. He passed out one time from dizziness. We sent him for an ultrasound of his neck to see if he's safe to adjust. He has constipation hemorrhoids, can't sleep at night, and been to seven different chiropractors. Check out all his pain and all these motions back. Here's his knee pain. Here's his ankle pain. He has reverse curve with a growth on the back of his head. Check out his treatment. <laughs> Seven different uh, chiropractors. Are you saying that's different than the other ones? Absolutely. My name is Ruben, uh, 52 years of age. I'm a funeral escort rider, which I drive motorcycles from churches to cemeteries, directing traffic. Um, I have several issues, uh, been involved in a few accidents, and one is a motorcycle accident that I twist my ankle and my uh, knee and hips, and I also have uh, shoulder and back pain on the right hand side that it progresses if I let it go So I have to be taking pain medication and inflammatories in order for me. How long have you been taking those medications for? Uh, years. Gone down the freeway before, flipped a bunch of times, tore his ankle up, his ankle dislocated on the freeway. Um, he's been rear-ended. <laughs> he's um, what'd you pass out for? They hit hit head on the car, on the wall. Oh, I just passed out. I don't know why. I just went to the doctor. He's passed out check. before. Just pa passed out. We've done um, arterial arterial checks on his carotid arteries, so we know that he's safe to adjust. We have uh, hemorrhoids about seven years ago. So he deals with constipation. I sleep, uh, but I don't rest because every time when I wake up, I wake up not wanting to wake up. I don't feel rested. He has high blood pressure too, so he's always taking a look at his heart, has, takes aspirin every day. So we're here to work him up and get him better. How much pain in your back there, sir? Six. Six. Now back like this, please. How about that? After the crack, uh, four. How much in your neck? Mm, it's about three. Three, look at the top, look at the ceiling. How about that? Two. How much pain in your knee and your back? Uh, six knee, knee and back. How much pain in your left ankle? Uh, it's or about tension? six. Have you been to a chiropractor before? Many times. How many different chiropractors over the years? Uh, at least seven. His x-rays are not very arthritic, which I'm surprised at. I thought they'd be worse than they are. Definitely a high reverse curve, uh, pretty straightforward. I think that uh, he's gonna respond well to what we do. We have four millimeter left imbalance and 13 degree scoliosis. Here we have six millimeter short right leg, eight degree spinal curve. Here we have C3 neck reversal, one third atlas wear, and growth off the back of the EOP. Here we have L5 hyperextension and constipation. Good, relax, sir. Good. Wow. <laughs> That went better than I thought it was going to go. Ah, uh, it was... <laughs> Seven different uh, chiropractors. Are you saying that was different than the other ones? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it was like putting everything in the right place. Not like other times. Uh, just a little crack. This one went deep. Yes, definitely. He's rebooting his system and he's being very typical in how people respond after the first neck adjustment here in the office. Good. Excellent. Whew. Definitely. Ruben likey. He likey. <laughs> Upsy daisy, Ruben. Now we're always a little worried after the first adjustment because it's deep and hard, which changes the brain waves here. So we're checking to see if he's a little lightheaded. But of course, we're going to remind him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. So careful, Ruben. Let's check in and see how you're doing, sir. I'm feeling pressure. Mm, not pressure. It, it's got to be <laughs> another word for that. But it's kind of a, the entire body. It's, it's flowing. Oh, and that flowing of fluids is making sensations of pressure. Interesting. It's not, I love it's it. not pressure. Any change is good change. The worst thing you do is go to a chiropractor and you feel nothing. Mm -hmm. It's called recalibration. When I adjust the neck, I change the way the brain works in the body. But we need to walk down the hall to receive those changes. Let's listen to see how Ruben's doing. Anything. Half an inch taller. Ah, you are taller. Yeah, 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 yeah. You even got a bigger... <laughs> so <really> taller. <laughs> You'll have to tell me that one later. So I always like to get these first impressions. I know it seems like a little labor laborious with the uh, video taking, but I love to see people's first reaction. I think that's the magic of my videos, to see people not lying. And you guys always want to watch my channel because you're like, let's see if it's the truth. Dr. There must be. There's no way you get people better. So I love these early videos. Let's see where you're at. 
How much pain you're back there, sir? I think it was a five or a six. It was a six. Um, before. right now it's about four. About a four, a little bit better. Uh -huh. A little bit. Yes. Back like this, sir. I think that was a four. You said a minute ago. I thought it's about two. About two. A little yeah. bit better, right? Yes. Okay. With your arms down, look down the floor, please. How was that? Oh wow, yeah. big difference. That was a four minute ago. I think. Yeah, two. It's I forget. Was. Two. Oh, one. Yeah. One right now. Look at the ceiling, please. No. Okay. I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, I haven't been able to to do that with the two knees, feeling no pressure. And going that deep down, wow. That's that's what we call a miracle. Try it that's again. Quite, you that's look so quite, happy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> look, I haven't been able to do this in years. Not feeling the pressure here. I, the most I can go, and I can still go down this one, but not this one. This one keeps locking right there. Yeah. But right now, I'm did I touch your knee at all? No need to. No need to. I didn't touch it at all. <laughs> no. Only adjusted your neck, right? That's correct. No problem. The ankle was six tension or whatever. Oh, right? no. No, it's it's way better. It's about one, maybe two the most. But and how's your balance? Balance is still trying off, to adjust. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still trying to get adjusted. But look at how strong balance. it is. Look at how strong it is when he stands up. Yes. yes. Be you happy you're here, sir? Oh, absolutely. First visit, first adjustment. Yeah. And seeing these results. Ruben, why don't you tell everybody how you're doing after one week? Uh, which much better. I have better sleep. Uh, I feel better rested. Um, but I still have a lot of work to do uh, in yeah. getting to the point that I wanted to be. Of course. You were so excited the first day when you came here because we got rid of all your ankle pain, all your knee pain. What is the issue now? It's uh, me. Uh, listening but at the time when i'm in my daily routine life go back to my old ways and try to refocus again into what you t teach me very smart man i have no problem with that but again it takes time to change yes this that's all 95 percent. really yes wow because i didn't get that at all. I, I don't have pain anymore except that when i sleep i sleep in the, in a way that when i wake up i, I wake up with an ache here or ache there or problem here or problem there well he was but that's nothing to do i'm going to say that he's kissing my ass a little bit too much i love it that he is because i don't think he's 95 percent better but i'm glad he is i'm glad he thinks that because he was limping in here a little bit his ankle hurts again after he slept we're going to get rid of his pain right now it's not a problem but he's having these up and down motions because uh because we're still trying to figure out where his pattern is is taking him back i think it's sleep so anyways i appreciate the 95 percent and i know he's a lot better um, but I think so. I still think we have some ways to go. So left knee, how much better is that? Left knee, it's, it's it's fine. Gotcha, and that's what you came in for, by the way. That's correct. Left ankle, uh, absolutely perfect. What were you leaving? Is your right ankle? It's the right one. Oh. <laughs> how about left bunion? Left bunion. Left bunion. I mean, your toe. Your toe. It's it's good. It's good. Right good. Now. Yeah, and your back, right about here. You got it's, pain it's, right here. It's, it's that's tail junction. Uh, yeah. Pain right here, the upper part of the back. Uh, it's gone. How about your uh, your right hand? Lumbus or whatever. Um, yeah, the tickling or the one that's cracked my knuckles, it's gone, yes. And sleep is better, you said? The sleep is better. And mild constipation. We had mild constipation. Uh, there. It's, it's gone. You notice a little improvement there, too? Yes. Gotcha, yes. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so again, it's only been six days, and so uh, we're going to see the treatment. And what have we done? What have we worked on with you? What are the only adjustments we've done? Neck. Have we done anything else? No. Nice. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear that. A lot of self adjusted in there. His neck is um, very hypermobile, very hypermobile. So he already knows. He's been told him many times stop self adjusting, and I think he is stopping, but it's still years and years of self adjusting you can feel in there.